the Cabo Mantis 8. Hello everyone, welcome to Brian Unbox. In this video, we're gonna look at the Cabo Mantis 8 electric scooter. This is how the scooter comes in when it's delivered. It's packaged well with the foam and bubble wrap protecting it. Along with the scooter, you get the charger, rubber covers, tools, front storage pack, and the user guide. You can be up and running in no time and it just requires minimal assembly. I have linked the video from the Cabo website in the description box for reference. And just to highlight the assembly, basically you have to install the handlebars, bring the stem up and lock it into place, put the rubber caps on the bolts in the front and rear, and adjust the brakes if needed. And that's all to it. And just to go over some specs, this comes in two colors, black and red. I have the red version. The scooter is made from aviation grade aluminum forge from one piece. Dual motors with two 500 watt motors that peak at 2200 watts. 48 volt, 13 amp hour, ternary lithium ion battery. Takes six and a half hours to charge. Sine wave controller, LCD display, front and rear suspension, disc brakes and EABS, eight inch tubeless tires. It has a top speed of 25 miles per hour and a range of 25 miles. Turn signals, brake lights, front, side and rear lights, electronic horn and it weighs in at 53 pounds. Here is a look at the overall dimensions. A look at the scooter further, you can see the different components. The folding mechanism in the front with the buckles, front and rear fenders, suspensions, front and rear motors, charging port, brakes, lights, and rear footboard. Powering up the display, you can see it's pretty bright and easy to read. Pressing the mode button will cycle through the odometer, trip, time, and voltage. Pressing the power button once, then switching to the mode button will cycle through the gears. You can also access the piece settings by holding down the power and mode button. You will have to enter a password and I have linked the procedure in the description box that explains it further. On the left you have the controls for the front headlight, turn signals, and the electronic horn. Okay, so this is how it looks when it's folded and basically to unfold it, there's, there's a little uh, a hook here. So you wanna just unhook it and bring the stem up. This is the part that, that hooks on to the, uh, the bottom hook and you can just fold it back down. So once you have the uh, stem up, you wanna bring down the, uh, the locking mechanism here and then tighten the two buckles. and then just push the levers. All right, and there you go. You have it, um, you have the stem assembled and then to, to fold it back down, it's just the reverse operation. Loosen the, the buckles and then fold it down and lock it into place on the bottom. So you can see that the, the board is a decent size uh, and it's pretty wide. You got lights along the side and in the front for the, uh, the brakes and the uh, turn signals, front and rear suspensions. And uh, there is a, there's a good amount of flex. So here it goes. Now I'll take the scooter out for a ride. I'll test it out on rough terrain, uphill, downhill, test acceleration, brakes, show the modes, and then give my thoughts. All 
Okay, now I'm gonna do a little bit of a, a rough terrain test. Uh, this trail is bumpy. Let's see how the uh, suspension forks handle it. Um, I'll have it in uh, dual motor mode. Okay, here we go. Very uh, quick acceleration. You can see here it's getting uh, bumpy. Handling the bump very well. Not bad at all here. Okay, now I'm gonna do an uphill test. Um, this has a nice uh, gradual incline. I'm gonna do a single motor, then dual motor, and let's see uh, the difference. Okay, this is gonna be a single motor mode. I have it in mode three. You can see in uh, single motor mode, the acceleration is uh, gradual. So we're holding about nine miles per hour as we're going up this uh, trail here about uh, 14 miles per hour now okay okay now i'm going to do the uphill test uh in dual motor uh, and I'm gonna have it in gear three. Okay, let's see how it does. You definitely get uh, a faster pickup. 18 miles per hour. Oh, it's handling this with ease. Not a problem at all. 22, 23. All right, wow, that was, uh, that was pretty good. Very strong going up that uh, trail. Um, did about 22, 23 miles per hour. All right, now I'm gonna do the downhill test with a dual motor. Let's see how it handles. Yeah, it's instant power with uh, the dual motor. We're already up to uh, 20, 22. Uh, feels stable. All right, now I'm gonna do the uh, acceleration test. Um, we'll, we'll do it in uh, dual motor mode. We'll start off with uh, gear one and let's see how fast uh, we can go. All right, here we go. All right, so it looks like gear one is at 11 miles per hour. Switching to gear two. Picking up more speed here. We're at uh, 15 miles per hour, 16. Switching to gear three. You can definitely feel the power now, 21, 24. So it looks like we're topping off at 24 miles per hour. These roads do have some uh, incline, so we may lose some speed, but it looks like it's maintaining it pretty well. So 24 miles per hour. All right, so on dual motor mode, it was about 23, 24 miles per hour. Uh, I'm gonna switch to single motor mode. I'm gonna keep it on gear three and I'm gonna run it back and let's see how, how fast uh, we can go. All right, so this is single motor mode on gear three. You can uh, definitely see the difference with a single and dual. The acceleration on the dual just picks up right away. Single is just nice, nice and gradual.
Okay, we're at, at 20 miles per hour. 22, 23. Now I'll test out the brakes. I'll take it to max speed and once I come into view, I'll hit the brakes and you can use the parking lines as reference. So aside from the uh, single and dual motor mode button, you also have the eco and turbo. Um, you know, when you have it in the eco mode, you uh, save a little bit more battery. And then uh, when you have it on turbo mode, I just switched to turbo mode here. Um, definitely uh, picks up a little faster there. And if I switch to eco, you know, the pickup is not as, uh, quick so those are the difference between the eco and turbo here are my thoughts on the scooter the assembly was quick and simple and again you can be up and running in no time the build and quality is solid and it feels sturdy and well built and there's good weight to it the red accenting throughout gives it a sporty look it had no imperfections or damage during the shipping process I do like that it has the fenders the lighting all around as well as the turn signals and brake lights. The ride was smooth and very pleasant. The deck is nice and wide and gives your feet enough room to get the right footing. It handled the rough surface as well and the suspension forks along with the tubeless tires absorbed a lot of the bumps. The handlebars and stem were stable and tight and it didn't feel loose or shaky at all. The 1000 watt dual motor was excellent and as you saw through my test it handled the inclines with no issues and had plenty of power to make it up the hill. With the single motor mode, it will struggle a bit and be slow going when you try the higher slopes, but on normal flat surfaces, it won't be an issue. I like that you have the option to switch from the different modes, depending on how you want to use the power. I was able to reach the advertised 25 miles per hour top speed during my testing. The motors are quiet and very smooth, and it has a range of 25 miles. The brakes were strong and they grabbed on quick, and there's good stopping power and the LCD display is easy to read and intuitive. Overall, I was impressed by the power and handling of the scooter. It feels solid and well-built, and it's fun to ride. The price point, I feel, is in line with something you would find with this performance. I would definitely put this on your list if you're looking for a higher-end scooter on a budget. So that is my review of the Cabo Mantis 8 electric scooter. If you like my video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button as well. Until next time, this is Brian Unbox. Take care, everyone.